You're a 13 time Utah high school state champion. You set three high school state records as a senior. You're a three time high school All American, hold four BYU individual titles. How would you describe how it's been? It was just not what I expected. Those were my dreams. The minute I left Tennessee, I was like, I will never step foot in a pool again. You started swimming at four with your mom as your coach, and then at 16, you moved to Arizona to compete with one of the best swim clubs in the nation. And from there, you competed junior nationals, where you move up from 150th to second. What was that moment like for you? Yeah, that junior nationals moment especially was one of the top moments, obviously in my swim career, but just in my life. And after my first race, I moved up to the second spot. Years and years of hard work, finally leading up to the moment where it's like, I made it, like I, I can do something in this sport. And you were recruited by schools like Tennessee, Alabama, Texas, NC State, and Cal, some of the best top schools in the country. Yeah. What was that like for you? It's a surreal moment. It never hit me that I could swim at one of those schools I would see on TV until that moment. The recruiting process started and right when I got back from that meet from Junior Nationals, it was just every night phone calls for a couple months. The minute I was at my Tennessee trip, I canceled the rest and said, let's do it, let's go to Tennessee. I wanna be a volunteer. I got out there in August. We gotta start swimming till middle of September. So it's been a couple weeks, there's quarantine. So I was never hanging out with my teammates outside of practice. In practice, it was one person per lane with these glass dividers in between each lane line. So like, I couldn't even talk to my teammates. Like all the time I'll get asked, hey, how was Tennessee? Tell me about it. And I'm like, I have no idea. And like midway through the year, for the first time in my life, I was like, I think I might quit swim. That thought had never come to me ever. And it was crazy. Every day is just like, just make it through. Once you finish your season, you can decide what you want to do. I didn't want to let anyone down. Like I was a top recruit out of high school. I was kind of like the face of the freshman class. The best moment I had at Tennessee was our dual meet against Georgia. They were number two in the nation at the time. It came down to the last race. It was the 200 IM and we were tied up at this point. And I was the slowest guy out of the Tennessee guys. And out of body swim, it wasn't even me swimming. It was like, just honestly strength from the Lord that pushed me through and I won the race. And I got out and that should have been like the highlight of my year so far. And I just remember feeling like I do not care at all. Like my coaches were so excited. They're throwing me around. You know, the guys are going crazy. I look on the sideline, everyone's jumping up and down. And for a couple of seconds, I was super excited. And I got out of the pool and I was like, I do not care. Like, I'm fine if I was to be done tomorrow. I just didn't want to swim anymore. I, I was so done. The week after my season was over, I went in and I was like, no, I'm done swimming. Like, I'm going to go home. And that was it. For that whole year, I was kind of lost and I never really had a direction of what I wanted to do. It was just a thought that came into my head like, hey, what about BYU? Because I wasn't gonna swim, so I didn't even think I'd get in. And I just put together, I, I swear it was the worst application ever. I put something together in a couple hours. Flash forward to like February, March, and I opened up my mail app and it said you'd been, you'd been admitted to BYU. It's like, what the heck? No way they let me in. As it got closer to August, I was like, okay, I think I'm gonna try out BYU. I have a feeling I'm, I'm gonna go see Sherry, that's our head coach. As I'm tech, putting the text together, I just hear, hey, Jordan, how are you doing? Like, I look up and it's Sherry, who I haven't seen in a super long time, at least a year or two. And right away, the, the conversation just got guided to like, let's give this another try. And I'm like, all right, let's do it. Which is like, it was a brave moment for me because I hated this thing so much. Like even walking to the pool, I was kind of like anxious. I had chills, I felt so uncomfortable um, in any swimming setting. And the next day I got in the pool, and I was on the team the next day and and everything just seemed to work out. What's it been like having such a big part of your life back? Looking back to see all the little things that have added up, it's a hundred percent God had a plan for me. A little more than a year ago, I had no intentions of swimming. Like it was done and not only intentions, like I had bad feelings for it. But like I love competing, I love winning. Like, I love going out there and putting on a show, and that's what I've loved doing since I was a little kid. That's what drives me in life. That's what makes me wake up in the morning. So to have that purpose and that fulfillment back from swimming, along with like a perspective that this isn't my whole life and like there are other areas to life. And now seeing all the things that happened because of it, I just, I know this was God's plan for me. Um, and it's amazing to see that. It's so different to know like, this isn't the end all of everything. My swim career isn't the end all but there's so many good things I can take from it. Um, and I still have 
my competitive spirit. I still have my work ethic. I still have the winner mentality that I've always had, along with a little different perspective.